Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we're doing part two of the AC Pro four zone ductless split uh, system that we did. We're gonna be looking at the indoor ceiling mount fan coils. I'm gonna go through all those, let you know the information about those, how we did them, what's going on here. Um, as always, please like this video, subscribe to my page. Uh, and if you have any comments, leave them in the section below. If you're in Orange County, California, in that area, please give me a call with any questions or if you'd like an estimate at 714-526-6368 or visit us at albertair.com. So I'm gonna start off with the living room uh, ceiling mount uh, cassette here. This is an 18,000 BTU one-way ceiling cassette made by AC Pro. It recesses in the ceiling as you can see, it's very flat. I'm gonna step back. This will cover this entire living room. This house is under construction right now. So um, we just finished this install today. Um, this comes with its own wireless remote. So this is one zone. We have three others in the house, so four total. We have uh, one 18,000 here, and then we have a 9,000 in each of the bedrooms. I'll show you those next. All of the units are the exact same measurements for these uh, fan coils and doors. So they are all 50 inches width this way. The depth back is gonna be roughly 13.19 inches. And then uh, up into the ceiling, it will be uh, 8.98 inches. And that's where we connect on all of our refrigerant lines, our drains and our control wiring. So the reason we went with these is because we do have fans in the middle of the room and we wanted to uh, do something in ceiling mounted and not on the sidewall like your traditional ductless splits are. They have those in another house and they said we would like something recessed in the ceiling. So we went with these, these are one way, so they blow across the room this way. Um, the 18,000 BTU will fill a full living room. The 9,000 BTUs are perfect for the bedrooms. Um, they are variable speeds, so depending on what temperature you have it set for, right now this one is set for 64. Um, it's barely trickling out at this point. Um, we turned it on a while ago, so it is pretty cold in the house, but when we first turned it on, it was a little warmer and it really pumped out the air. Because it is variable speed, it will fluctuate on its fan speeds, outdoors and indoors. So once it gets closer to the temperature, it will lower the speed and maintain. Um, there are some filters on this that you have to change and this grill will pop off so you can clean those uh, washable filters. This, um, We'll swing back and forth um, if you'd like the air to move differently across the ceiling. So there you go, you can see it's swinging up right now. And you can leave that on a swing motion so it will just constantly swing, or you can decide to lock it in and set it. It uses this cool remote control. So it shows you all your settings on here. Um, you have your mode button that will switch from, uh, you know, cool to heat to auto to fan. You have a turbo mode right here, which is very cool. So if you walk in, it's really hot and you want it 65 degrees, you hit turbo, it will automatically run at the highest speed to make sure it hits the temperature you want. Um, so right now I'm gonna walk into those other bedrooms. I'll show you how we did those. This is one of the bedrooms right here. Uh, looks great as well. Like I said, same size. This is a 9,000 BTU in this room. And then we did another one over here in this room, also 9,000 BTUs. Um, this one's cooling as well. They're very, very quiet indoors. Um, the units indoors are roughly anywhere from like 35 to 45 decibels. So they're extremely quiet when they're on. You don't really hear them. Um, so again, this is the third bedroom and also 9,000 BTU. So one of the great things about this is each one of these rooms is its own zone. So if one person likes it a little colder than the other person, it's fine. You're not gonna fight the thermostat. You each have your own remote control. You can do your settings. It is important to note that this system is one heat pump condenser outside with four zones inside. They're all connected to that one heat pump condenser. So if you are in cooling mode, all of them need to be in cooling mode. You cannot put one in heat and the other three in uh, cooling. They all have to be in cooling at the same time. If you were to heat, all of them need to be in heating mode, but they can be different temperatures depending on the room. So maybe this, this room is a hotter room. So maybe they want it, you know, it's 70 degrees in this room, but the other side of the house isn't as hot. Maybe 74 is fine for them. So you're, you can freeze out one room and keep the other room maybe a little warmer. So it, it just depends on how you want to run it. 
So let me know what you think of this system. I think it's fantastic. I love the ceiling mount. They're, they're out of the way. They're not on the wall. Uh, they look great. The customer was very happy with these. That's what they wanted. Um, they are made uh, by Medea and then branded by AC Pro and manufactured. So let me know if you have any questions, if this is something you might be interested in. Uh, this is one of the first installs we've done with the uh, ceiling cassette one ways and it went very well. Uh, the guys that installed this uh, said after the first one was kind of, you know, figured out and done. They're, they're very easy to install. We do need to make sure that they fit in the bays in the attic. So these are, the width on these are, you know, just over 13 inches and most bays in the attic that they'll fit into are 14 on center. So, so they will fit up there. Um, you just gotta make sure which way your bays run. So like in this room, we can do it on this wall, but that wall we'd have to, to uh, frame out. To make it easier. So, as always, please like this video, subscribe to my page. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. I appreciate you watching and thank you very much.